So we thought it was important to tell nonprofit organizations about the differences in our Managing for Excellence Award program in 2011. The most important difference is that we have established a two-tier award, um, $25,000 to winning organizations either in the first tier, which is for organizations with budgets over $2 million, or in the second tier, which is for nonprofit organizations with budgets under $2 million. In the past maybe decade, we have noticed that uh, the winning organizations who have been have been organizations with larger budgets and it's been very difficult for nonprofits to compete with um, smaller nonprofits to compete successfully and um, that made us very sad so what we'd like to do what we decided to do with our volunteer committee was take a look at the budget sizes of organizations that had applied in the past and we found this this sort of valley between organizations of budget, budgets at that two million dollar uh, size and so ergo the reason to make the the awards at and above uh, below and above two million dollars. Um, our application form will be the same for organizations that apply regardless of your budget size. Uh, the evaluation process will be the same for organizations regardless of your budget size but your competition will be amongst organizations in those two tiers. So if you are Mother Hubbard's Food Pantry and you have a budget of $200,000, you won't be competing against the jolly giant multinational nonprofit organization with a budget of $364 billion. Um, so we just thought it made things a, a little a little more fair, give us an opportunity to celebrate the work of organizations with smaller size budgets. Um, we have made some changes to the application form itself. We hope, one, it's easier to understand and process, and two, we've added three different categories of questions. One of those categories is around business ethics, another is around civic engagement, and the third is around technology and your organization's use of technology and, and social media. So you'll notice those changes on the application form. Um, I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our staff. Thanks so much.